So continuing on with uh, shadows, this is a parallel light it's with the sun directly to the viewer's left or the viewer's right. And we did vertical lines last time. Look something like this. We're going to do horizontal lines this time. We'll do a couple horizontal lines. Horizon line, I'm just going to make these lines up. Put a center vision here. And here is a line that goes, we'll stop it right there. Like, you know, just making up random lines. And let's see, let's make, we'll do this one to a vanishing point over here to the right. Here, so this is center vision. So this would be a right vanishing point. Just kind of made it up. Just to do a two point perspective line and to do a line in one point perspective. And so here's these two lines. Now, I, I just made these up. I have no idea how long they are. And the most important thing, I don't know how far they are above the ground. That's critical to doing the shadows. Like I, um, actually I can't even plot shadows for these because I don't even know where they are. So that's the end of this video. No, I'm just kidding. So, so I'm just gonna make them make this up. Normally, you draw things, you know where they are because you drew them. And if you just made something up like this, and then came the task of drawing shadows for them, then you're kind of in trouble because you have to figure out or decide where they are, how far above the ground they are. So I'm gonna do that right now. So here's um, I'm just gonna draw a line down to the ground and just randomly stop it like right there and say that's how this this is how far it is above the ground imagine this like it's like a drip line I have a line of a drop of water that falls from this and it hits the ground it goes plop right there or you can think of it like a, a flagpole I like flagpoles so I call them flagpoles it's dropping a flagpole down to the ground if I put a flagpole down from the other side and I would just run a line along the floor and a vertical line parallel to the first one. And so if a drop of water fell from the end of the stick, it would hit the ground right there. Okay, let's do um, the other one, the two point perspective one. Let's see. That's drop this one let's make this one farther away we'll make it hit the ground right there so here is flagpole let's do the shadow of this one first the two-point perspective one so this flagpole is just like it goes back to this one it's just a vertical line that's casting a shadow on horizontal surface. So the shadow of vertical lines and horizontal surfaces, the ground line, the direction of the ground line is the shadow. And in this case, the sun will make the sun the same as the other, make it directly to the left of the, the viewer, 90 degrees from the center vision to the left. So the shadows, if the sun happens to be in that position, the shadow of this is going to be this, this flagpole is going to be parallel to the horizon line, like, like that. This is ground line. And then the light angle will make it, um, let's try, let's make it 45 degrees above this, the horizon line. So I'll take a 45 degree triangle and there's 45 degrees above the, uh, the, so the light ray, the light angle here is from the sun, which the sun happens to be 45 degrees above the horizon line. Okay, so here's the rule with horizontal lines. Horizontal lines that are parallel, they have to, they're parallel to the ground plane. You could tell that they both of these are because they go to a vanishing point that's on the horizon line. Any line you draw to a point that's on the horizon line will draw a line that's parallel to the ground. 
So the rule with the vertical lines, like this flagpole, is that the shadow of the flagpole is the same as the ground line. The rule for horizontal lines is the shadow of horizontal lines, the shadow goes to the same vanishing point that the line does. The shadow is parallel with the line that cast the shadow. So this shadow of this stick will be going to the same vanishing point. It's there. So see, in this case, the shadow is not the ground line. This flagpole doesn't even exist. The, but we don't really care about this shadow and we don't really care about the flagpole. The only thing I care about this is the very tip of the flagpole because the tip of the flagpole is at the right at the beginning of this stick. And so that means that this dot is the shadow like, of that dot. And to get the end of the shadow, I don't need to do these flagpoles and ground lines and all over again. All I need is from the end of the stick is to do a light angle like that and you get the end. You can do the flagpole and the ground line and it'll get you the same result. So anything that's floating up in the air, you need to drop lines down to the ground. Most of the time in a perspective drawing a layout of the objects, if you have drawing stuff that's flying in the air, spinning around in the air, um, then you, you are, would probably have lines like this in their drawing anyway to like figure out how far above the ground it is. So let's do this uh, one point perspective shadow. So I see this happening a lot. Like, there's nothing wrong with this. I, I put two flagpoles down there and that's fine. But there are things in theory that are perfect. And then in practicality, when you do, do it, it doesn't always, it's not always perfect. So this would work in theory. You put a flagpole and a flagpole from the end of this horizontal line. And then from the base of this, you put a ground line and then you put another ground line. All right, that wasn't very straight. And then you put a light angle. You get a, you get a dot. And then over from this one, you do a light angle. And you get a dot. And then you connect the two dots and you get the shadow of the stick. So in theory, that should work perfectly. But in reality, what happens sometimes is if you're a little bit off with your flagpole, you're a little bit off with your ground line and a little bit off with the light angle, it kind of snowballs and you get a dot that's maybe a little bit to the right from where it should be. And then the same thing with this side, the flagpole, ground line, light angle, you're a little bit off with that. And maybe that's uh, like a little bit off to the left. And then you connect the two dots and then the shadow does not actually go to the vanishing point. Like see this one, not quite. The angle is wrong on the shadow, which probably I think is the most important thing on this is getting the, doing the shadows, is getting the shadow to actually go to the correct vanishing point. Now on this one, it's not off it by very much. So it probably doesn't look too, terrible looking at it but like i've seen them off far enough that it doesn't look right you can tell that the shadow on the ground is not parallel to the thing that's casting the shadow and that's probably the most important thing having the shadow like with this one we just did one one ground line one light angle one uh this 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 one flagpole and if this was a little bit too far to the left or right from where I, I made it, 
nobody's going to be able to figure, like, visually look at that and going, hey, with the sun 45 degrees up into the sky, I'm thinking that shadow should be like a, a few millimeters to the left of where it is right now. Like, nobody has that kind of an eye. But you can look at them, and if they're a little bit off, it will look a, kind of funny. It, will, it won't look quite like there's something wrong. Even if the person doesn't know anything about perspective, we've been just walking the world and looking at things all our life and you see something that doesn't quite follow the rules even if you don't know what the rules are then it's going to look a little bit off and the person might not be able to even like verbalize why it's off